Well, today, CBS News made history, taking you live from the new One World Observatory, 102 stories above the streets of New York City. It opens to the public on May 29th, but CBS This Morning gave us a first look inside the skyscraper. And our producer, Hannah Chapong Frazier, gave us a behind the scenes look at what it took to put this production on. We're at the uh, observation deck at the World Trade Center, 102 floors up. Well, what we're doing is uh, we're at the uh, infancy stage of crea creating the live broadcast of CBS This Morning, live from the uh, observation deck, the first broadcast to uh, originate live from this location. Good morning from the top of the new One World Trade Center. It is Wednesday, May 20th, 2015. And we are going to give you the first look at the spectacular views from the tallest building in the Western Hemisphere. I am Rick Jefferson, director of production for CBS This Morning. Shooting from over here. Uh, then that, that'll and we were blown away by how you know, magnificent it looks from up here. You have the New York City skyline, you have the Empire State Building, you have the Brooklyn Bridge, and to the left of that, you have the Manhattan Bridge, you have the Statue of Liberty, and you know, you have New Jersey, and you, you, you know, just a complete, beautiful shot of the metropolitan area. It's great. And there are a lot of different moving parts. You have your cameras, you have your staging, you have power requirements, lighting, video, audio, and essentially, you know, there are probably over 50 cases, if not 100 cases up here. And we have what we call our travel desk, and it's sort of our signature piece on CBS This Morning. The table kind of speaks to what the, who the show is. Uh, so every time we do a, a production on the road, we kind of bring our travel desk with us. We have a bigger one, and we have a smaller one. One, one of the things that we can't uh, determine and we can't control is the weather. So um, the minute you start to see that it's cloudy out or it's raining out, it, it, it triggers a thought that we have to have a backup plan. My major concern when I took the initial look up here was transmission, uh, trying to get the signal from the 102nd floor into the CBS Broadcast Center. He's not hearing us. We're hearing us. But once we got past that hurdle, um, it's kind of recreating TV from scratch, and we've done that many times before. The experts kind of do what they do and, and focus in on what they're, what they're capable of, and then we kind of pull it all together. So many moving parts. That's right. And I mean, bravo to that. It was so the, cool, wasn't yeah. it? I mean, I, you know, and congratulations to Hannah fraser Champon who uh, put that together. Um, but I was blown away by the images and by the fact that they were able to get the show without a hitch, like, you know, up, up, up way up there. And right. it's interesting, they had a couple of interesting guests. We, when we did the uh, Vlad and Die cast yesterday, Diana Miller pointed out that they were going to get the quintessential New Yorkers, Bill de Blasio, the mayor, obviously, of New York City, and Anderson Cooper, who spent his whole life mm -hmm. in, in New York City. And, and we were laughing because Anderson hired both of us. We both used to work for him. And um, to see him, for me, it was completely surreal because he was in sitting at the desk with Charlie, Nora, and Gail. And, um, when I did my piece on the Letterman thing, he was still sitting at the desk. So it was like, wow, like I was like an Full intern. Circle. I know, and now <laughs> here I am like in the broadcast with Anderson Cooper. I thought that was pretty cool. But the symbolism that this building yeah. has, you know, for not just New York, but all of America, uh, whenever I pass by it or when I see it, you know, in the skyline, it just reminds you of, a, of where we um, were and how far we have come since then. And it's just inspiring. It really, you know, it's funny, a lot of people, as this building was going up, said, oh, it didn't look, they didn't like the design, mm -hmm. they didn't like the architecture, they felt like it was, you know, something that belonged in Hong Kong. But I was reminded, my stepfather was an architect in New York City for many years, and he told me that when the original World Trade Center went up, people hated it too. They mm -hmm. thought the quintessential New York City building was the Empire State and before that, the Chrysler Building, and that it was a much maligned building. For me, though, as a little kid, seeing the original World Trade Center, I used to sit at the base and look straight up and mm -hmm. be, was so impressed. I feel like it's the same with this building. Yeah. People are gonna eventually, if they don't already, like love it the way that they did the old one. Yeah, and I mean, there's uh, obviously so much to see within that building, so you could probably spend an entire day yeah. <laughs> just, just you know, taking in the views and also um, just, I'm sure, you know, some of the interactive things that they have there for everyone to see. So check it out if you can. They're going to be opening up. Yeah, have week. you seen the thing? Actually, Anthony Mason did a piece where um, he takes you up in the elevator, and what they've done is they've replicated along the windows of the elevator, you can actually see the building up of New York City from the first floor as you ride it all the way up to the 102nd this is floor. It, right? Look at that, this is oh, it. look at that, that is so cool. Yeah, and he's got another piece airing tonight um, on the CBS Evening News. 
at uh, 6.30 Eastern Time. So if you want to see part two of that, we'll have that on later on this evening with Scott Pelley. But it is, it's, it's just absolutely incredible. The technology that we have today, um, and just again, it, it's the symbolism that, of that building that gets me. Yeah, it really is a quintessential New York City yeah. building.